Welcome amigos. Welcome to the beautiful city of Lecce, Italy. Lecce is a city in southern Italy and former capital of the province of Lecce, with the second highest population in the Apulia region. This city is over 2,000 years old. Did you know Lecce is often called the Florence of the South? Because of its rich Baroque architecture, it got this nickname. Have you ever wondered why cities like Lecce, with its rich historical significance, often go unnoticed? While many popular tourist destinations in Italy struggle with over-tourism, I believe this video will inspire you to visit Lecce and discover its cultural and historical treasures. We will be discussing about the history and the places you must visit in Lecce. Please do let us know in the comments if I miss out something. The history of Lecce is intriguing. Its origins seem to date back to the 5th century BC, but a legend attributes its foundation to around 1200 BC. Under the rule of the Kingdom of Naples since 1463, Lecce grew in importance until it became a lively cultural center that developed trade with merchants from all over the world. Roman Amphitheater of Lecce Archaeological excavations which were started in 1900 by Cosimo di Giorgi and continued, with interruptions, until 1940, brought a historic amphitheater presumably dating back to the age of Augustus to light. Castello Carlo V Also known as the Castello di Lecce, was first built in the Middle Ages and was strengthened by Charles V in 1539. The castle did not have only defensive functions. In the 18th century, one of its rooms was used as a theater. From 1870 to 1979, it was used as military district. Nowadays, it is the seat of the cultural affairs of the township of Lecce, a backdrop for many cultural initiatives. Lecce Cathedral Also known as Duomo di Lecce, is the cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. The cathedral was first built in 1144, but underwent repairs in 1230, and it was rebuilt in 1659. The principal entrance is found on the northern façade, which is considered to be a masterpiece of Baroque art. The cathedral has a Latin cross plan with three naves divided by pilasters and columns, and the main altar is placed at the eastern end of the church. The central nave and the transepts are covered by a wooden ceiling with coffers created in 1685 along with paintings by Giuseppe da Brindisi. Museum of Sacred Arts Please note that you have to buy a 11 euro ticket for visiting the four churches and the Museum of Sacred Arts. There are paintings, sculptures, silverware and liturgical vestments that not only document a journey through the artistic history, with particular reference to the city, but also bear witness to the role played by the church in the life of the community of believers. The paintings span a period of time that goes from the end of the 15th century to the end of the 18th century. Porta Napoli Porta Napoli is a 16th century triumphal arch that once served as the main entrance into the historic city centre. Modelled on triumphal arches from ancient Rome, its neoclassical design is a departure from Lecce's ornate Baroque style, and the soaring marble gate is considered one of the city's architectural treasures. Basilica of the Holy Cross Also known as Basilica di Santa Croce, is a Baroque-style church that was completed in 1695. The church has a richly decorated façade, with six smooth columns supporting an entablature, with animals, grotesque figures and vegetables, and has a large rose window. The interior, on the Latin cross plan, originally had a nave and four aisles, two of which were turned into side chapels in the 18th century. The Church of San Mateo is a Baroque Catholic place of worship in the historic center of Lecce. It was built in the second half of the 17th century by replacing the 15th century chapel dedicated to the Apostle Matthew. Church of St. Clair The church was founded by Bishop Tommaso Amarato in 1429. It was then completely restructured by the architect Giuseppe Cino, 
between 1687 and 1691 in the Lecce Baroque style. If you look at the facade, you'll realize that it is not flat, like almost all the churches in Lecce, but slightly convex. The interior is a single chamber with an octagonal floor plan. Alternating along the walls, between arches of varying size, are the various chapels, in local Baroque style. City Park, also known as Giardini Publici Giuseppe, is a 19th century gardens with a geometric grid of walking trails, plus sculptures and fountains. We will be doing more videos about Apulia regions, so consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss our next video. Ciao. Grazie ragazzi.